Welcome to part 5 of, uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Where Taizai tries to not take over the whole entire video. Yep. And yeah, today we are, we, we, we are, we uh, are, going through Lidley. Make of that one, as you will. Don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm in high school, right? My mind is, like, set to take things the wrong way, right? But wait, what? There, there is pretty much no way we can go right now. Are those faces on those ball things? Oh, what is that? They hate Metroid now. God damn it. That's, that's the shrimp <laughs> beat in the last episode. That's the shrimp. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, shrimp would happen. Well, I, I guess I just have had, I just missed something or something. Something. Let me go backtrack and see what, what, uh, what I could have missed. Uh, am, am I faking it well enough, guys? No. <laughs> this is not uh, live mm. commentary. No, stop. I, I, I tried doing that on my very first first video for this channel, which I deleted because it was crap. It did post commentary. I did post commentary and I made it seem like it was live. Because, you know, if you do post commentary on a Nuzlocke video, let's well, it, know. Well, it, this, this wasn't here. What happened to time. the freaking shrimp? Oh, uh, I see you can eggs. see it about uh, three, two, oh one. Oh my God! Yeesh. 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 That kind of scared me. My voice kind of cracked. <laughs> Explain yourself, Lakuna. What is this? This is a boss fight. I can see that, but. It's a giant mutant what? bee. This is an alien world. What did you expect? See, this is why when I had a GBA, I played Sonic and I played Pokemon, and that was pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and I think some stupid I'm licensed like... games. Whatever. We got super missiles. Super missiles. What? That's the most original name. I like how they have. They, they have. Um, a whole section for the bombs, as if there's, uh, other bombs. Oh wait, there are other bombs, oh, never okay. mind. Do those ball things that you just killed have faces? Uh... They kinda look like faces, to be honest. Your mom says? Oh, okay, well, that, that was just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... Right, you, you, you're gonna ask me something? Oh, me? No. Okay. <laughs> No, I took that comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna ask you anything at all. I don't think. This game. Yeah, cause like, I cut you off, so... Yeah, well, yeah. when you're making a commentary channel, you kinda... That's kind of a given. You, you need to cut people <laughs> off. People cut other people. Hey, look, an energy tank! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it is actually possible to get that energy tank, but... Uh, these I, rooms I, remind me of a, a, a Pokemon ROM hack where it's so praised because, oh my god, it has all five generations. Well, at the time, there was only five, so... It's automatically the best one, but then when I played it, I'm like, I seem to be the only per person who notices that every trainer literally has the same team. So the, these are... They're, they're, that's what these rooms remind me of, because they all have, like, like the same... Well, yeah, they kind of have, like, the same enemies, like, same way, yo. Uh, well, it's kind of emulating Metroid 1, which is basically re recycling rooms galore. Like, it, it will literally recycle yeah. the same exact room layout and enemy layout, and, like, multiple times in an area. Like, go going through Kraid in that, in the original Metroid is a fucking nightmare. Alright, can someone please explain to me why- Yeah, so we're gonna bring up Smash Bros again. Uh, <laughs> can someone please explain <laughs> to me why there's like... There's five Fire Emblem characters, but then there's like... Two Metroid characters, two Donkey Kong characters, three Kirby characters... Fire Emblem... Okay, well, I was gonna say... Well, at the time, there was like... You were- never mind. Yeah, w why? Uh, there's one too many Pokemon in the game. <laughs> well, you see, Pokemon's different because it's really po popular. Plus... Pokemon's different because I like it more. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Plus, there's like, oh, there's a lot of potential for Pokemon characters, so I can see why. But in Brawl, there were more. 
people were, there was more Pokemon technically there was more Pokemon characters than Mario characters so people were like no that shouldn't be allowed <laughs> well uh, to not... answer your question Taisha is because Fire Emblem Awakening is popular that one game it's it's like how soccer I put in Dark Pit and Palutena because of one Kid Icarus game not only that classic mode was pretty much the difficulty mechanic at least was based off of that and yes i am well, biased towards kirby as why well. i'm not bringing up all-star mode yeah <laughs> well i'm biased towards kid icarus uprising because that's like the best game ever no well there well i did but not really no well yes no well i have a 2ds so i'm not playing kid icarus uprising on a goddamn 2d <laughs> I'll wait till I get my <laughs> my nipple 3ds XR. I hit that. Well, one you you, you don't really you don't really need the the nipple to play Kid Icarus Uprising. Well, I'm not using the touch screen, <laughs> especially on a 2ds. Well, I don't know. I've never actually used the 2ds. It's actually so. really comfortable, but some of the yeah games like that, there's no way in hell I'm playing those. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, well, Taishay, I am left-handed, so I'm screwed either way <laughs> when oh, playing Kid Icarus Uprising. Like, I have to use my thumb on the touchscreen. So oh, bad geez. it is. Nintendo is so inconsiderate. Yeah, totally. It's like how in the promotional art for Rosalina, she's always using her left hand. No, the promotional art, she's using her right hand, but in-game, she's always using her left. Well, kind of like in Twilight Princess on or the Vice Wii, where Link is right-handed. Or vice versa, I don't know. Yeah, Link is... I don't know. Link, like, well, Link is left-handed, like, in every game. I don't... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, so there's something I want to bring up. Why would they just leave random super missile expansions out in out in well, the open? What I want to know is why there's random <laughs> anything expansions out on a planet. Because this is the Chozo planet where the Chozo lived. And why do and they the have, so why would they have nuclear weapons? Kind of. Not really nuclear. Whatever. Why do they have weapons like this? Well, so they can give them to Samus. So why, if they can just give her weapons, why can't they just put them in easier places? Gotta... Because then they'll get stolen. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so, I always think I'm gonna win the argument. <laughs> Pass me. You're, you're doing it wrong. Just go. <laughs> Ridley's right there. <laughs> oh dear goodness. I did not know how to pronounce. Like tons of Nintendo characters' names. You know what? Since, since I've literally talked about everything throughout this playthrough, other than uh, Metroid, let me go look up some like trivia or whatever. <laughs> since you know, that's that's all I'm good for. <laughs> <laughs> but what? But you're gonna miss the epic fight with Ridley that we are we're apparently not having right now. Oh, okay. Wait, I don't know why. Because we had to get an unknown item. Yeah, we need to get the gravity suit first. Hmm. Well, kind of. Whatever. Alright. Did, right, did yeah. Jamis just get an E-Tank? Uh, you were ahead of me. Okay, By well... a lot. Alright, well, tell me when... Like, I don't know, I guess I'm ahead then. Because freaking... Alright, well, I'm watching the cutscene right now, so I'll just wait. Ridley! Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna be there. He's not purple! Ruined forever! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, but he still screams like an a, uh, like a loud bitch, so that's <laughs> that at least is accurate. And he also has a pogo stick. A what? A pogo, a pogo stick on his tail. Stick. <laughs> well, let me do trivia in the whole entire series, I guess. Due to limitations in the NAS hardware. The unit was unable to portray Samus crawling, though Morph Ball was created to simplify the required animation to the point that the NES could handle it. So that's why Metroid can't crawl. Yes. <laughs> now all we need to know is where he keeps all of his missiles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that fight was simple enough. Well, that's what... that's what you get when you have super missiles. Well, now that we killed Ridley, I I guess we'll never see him again in the series ever. 
Nope. Never again. <laughs> Never. Ever. Ever. <laughs> uh, no. Screw you guys. I want no zero <laughs> mission. And yeah, uh, yeah, we totally won't see him in Prime One, Prime Three, uh, Metroid Super Metroid, Metroid Three. I mean, Metroid uh, so fighting Metroid Ridley is like, so fighting Ridley is like trying to lose weight. Pretty much. Well, it, the, the difference is, is that you can do it easily. I'm gonna go on a diet starting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And we, we got our last energy tank that we can get before uh, the end of the game. So. Okay, so apparently the boss, Krakomeyer from Super Metroid, was originally going to be in the game, but was cut for unknown reasons. He can still be accessed by hacking into the game's code, but the oh. existing animations are seemingly unfinished, and there's no death sequence. Another fun fact about Krakomeyer, he's also in Castlevania Circle of the Moon. What? Is it a the... reference, or is it just you being... Uh, half and half. Well, uh, in Circle of the Moon, in one of the areas, there's like, uh, like a, a skeleton that looks kind of really similar to the Krakomeyer skeleton. Because we see, mm. we see the Krakomeyer skeleton, like, in, in Super Metroid when he dies. Because it's like a really freaking gruesome death. Uh, I know this is obvious. Oh, Everyone pretty much knows this, but... No, no. Because Samus no, is a girl. Not that. I didn't know the <laughs> spoilers. No. The, but the Japanese Famiconda system version features file selection. Taxi, what are you doing? The game. exit is right there. There so you go. In the Famicom ver Japanese version of this game, you can... Not only can you, like, is there, like, a save feature? Cat, why did you open the door? You can also see how many hours you've spent on your mission, where one hour of gameplay re represents one day. The NES version uses a password system instead because uh, we Americans are uh, not... Too cool for save features. Yeah. Passwords are, are, are the best, the yeah, coolest. Yeah, kids are not going to understand how to save. We need to give them complicated passwords instead. Yeah. And give them a uh, really not necessary long password. We can't just have them type in like three things now. Mega Man! We. <laughs> I love that. that oh, why, I... why isn't that one of, in Samus's moveset in Smash? They should totally do that. <laughs> because that would make it fun. Who, according to tier list, is the uh, worst character in the game. Which uh, I call bullcrap uh, on because in, I cannot be no uh, only only in uh, the original Smash 64. Uh, no, and in Smash 4. Wait, I have a theory no. as to why yes. that that move isn't in Smash for Samus. Captain Falcon stole it. Oh yeah. We get screw attack that screw attack dot com. Screw it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Get out. No, we're not doing this. I don't want to get out. You're fired. God. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you guys record the Skype calls and oh, 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 I know our recording methods now. God damn. No, we're in the same room watching the game. We're yes, we're, we're we're totally live commentating over this. Yeah. Ah uh, yes. We're I I just know what's gonna happen in the future. We're live commentating over <laughs> the game, playing itself. Yeah, and and we're we're playing the game right now. <laughs> I am holding the Game Boy Advance in my hands as and, we speak. And we're on his, like, shoulders, like, breathing down his neck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because screw the Game Boy player. There's no comfortable way to play, like, any Game Boy game. Because you got the Game Boy Advance, which is comfortable to hold, but... There's no backlight. Yeah, and then you got the SP, oh, yeah. <laughs> which has a backlight, but is not comfortable to hold at all. And then you got the micro, which is I just... I was fine. Bleh. You mean well, that thing that like... nobody ever cared about ever? Yeah. And then all you need is use the Game Boy player, <laughs> but if you do that, you're going to be using the GameCube remote, which D-pad sucks. And why would you want to play a Game Boy game with the analog stick? So there's, you can't win. <laughs> that's why that's like the DS is better. Yeah. <laughs> well, and with the DS, you can, like, record it. 
Well, you're totally playing this on DS, right? <laughs> I'm playing this on the original Game Boy Advance. <laughs> I like how I just give up on that super missile tank, or not? <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I'm trying to freeze one of the enemies so I can get a better vantage point. Uh, okay. I love how Nintendo doesn't even bother. As you're constantly getting damaged. They... Okay, uh, these ice beam puzzles I am uh, not liking at all. Uh, how interesting. Okay. When are they gonna put? The... Is this game on Virtual Com? I'm gonna go check. Totally oh. on my Wii U and not I... the internet. I. And now you look at your question. How long are we gonna be here? Eight years. Uh, not long, because I just give up on it. You say that every time, though. Yeah, you say that. Every time I say how long are we going to be here, you say not long. <laughs> well, most of the time has been true. Most. <laughs> most of the time. So, I don't know what you're, you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're on about sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, uh. Metroid. Yeah, right? <laughs> Metroid is totally better than Master Chief, the by the way. On the box of the original Metroid, <laughs> it claims that the game is a two-player alternating game. This is believed to be a misprint, possibly copied from a template. The first multiplayer game in the series was Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, although Samus did not appear in the multiplayer... No, she did appear in the multiplayer Smash Bros. and Melee prior to the 2004 release of Echoes. I'm totally not reading this off of a website. And 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 no one ever actually played the Metroid Prime 2 in multiplayer. I didn't even know Metroid Prime 2 had multiplayer until there was like a song in Smash that says Metroid Prime 2 multiplayer. <laughs> Which I'm not a big fan of that song to begin with, so that that already is not making me like wanna <laughs> do that. You played the Metroid Prime Hunters multiplayer, eh? Uh, no. <laughs> Where, where everyone just plays as the guy who can turn invisible and also, they, and they can't spill speaking anywhere. Speaking of GBA games on Virtual Console, why the hell does Japan get Sonic Advance but we don't that? No, that's not fair. And that, that, that's just not right. Yeah. Like, they don't even, Sonic's more popular over here anyways. Like, come on. Exactly. Yeah, Sonic's, Sonic's the most popular in Europe, so. Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh -huh. I, I assure you, it's true. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. never. Sure. No. Never. No. I, I'm, I don't. No. No. Shut up. No. Why? Dude, like every one I mentioned. your mouth, you liar. I don't want to hear any of your bullcrap. No. Yeah, no, they don't have zero mission on virtual console, but they have. Uh, Metroid Fusion. Fusion. And they have Harvest Moon. More <laughs> friends of Mineral Town. Yeah, did, does anyone actually ever play those? Yeah, people play Harvest Moon. I, I don't know, I haven't met a, oh. I met a single person who likes it. But they have both Golden Sun games, I didn't even know there was a second Golden Sun game. Hey, how many more uh, Mega Man Battle Network games did they release? Oh, they have Battle Network 1, obviously. They have Zero, they have... I'm on the eShop right now, I'm looking. Uh, they have Mega Man and Base. Oh. Uh, no, they, yeah, they, they, they put the GBA version of it on there for some reason. Well, they're too lazy to... I'm surprised they even put it on the Virtual Console at all. <laughs> but they have yeah. Battle Network I mean, 3, 2, 4, and... Yeah, and zero three. And zero wait, three. they have <clears throat> Battle Network 4? Why would they put Battle Network 4 on there? Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. I don't know what that is. is that Seriously, um, I read the reviews on it. It's not very good. Is it part of the Battle yeah. Network series? Um, yes. I think it's, I think it's considered a spin-off or something. Yeah, I was about to say, why, why would they put Battle Network 4 on the virtual console? That game sucks. <laughs> then well, again, they also well, have Sonic seems, Labyrinth on the actually, virtual. Wait, what were you gonna say? They have Sonic Labyrinth on this virtual console. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I didn't think Sonic Labyrinth is that bad. It's, it's not a bad I game, mean, it it's just, it's, it's not Sonic. 
If you can put any yes, other... it is bad game. No, you yes, can put it's, it's any not, other video game not, character not game. in that game, and it wouldn't be bad. It's just because it's Sonic. No, I mean, no, no, it, it, it would still be a bad game. No, it's just that it's worse because it's Sonic. It's like DMC Devil May Cry. If they put any other video game character in it, it'd be fine. No. Yes. It's still a bad Shadow. game. God damn you! Uh, Shadow's different. <laughs> Have you actually ever played Sonic Labyrinth though? Uh, that game is fucking unbearable. I, I have. Well, wait, wait, what was I gonna say? God damn, I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny how you mentioned that Battle Network 4 is the worst. Well, it, well it's a bad game. But that, I remember this for, I remember this from like, I, I just remember this, but the trophy description in Smash 4 for uh, Mega Man.exe says, like, the two games that reference him or whatever are Battle Network and then Battle Network 4. Like, uh, yeah, out of all uh, of them, that, that, that one specifically. Oh. Well, the, the reason why Battle Network 4 is sucks is because uh, most of the game has you just do this for that person. It's just like the same shit over and over. There, there, there are literally three dungeons in that entire game. <laughs> And so... then, and you have to do, uh, and you have to beat the game three times in a row oh. if you want to get everything. Never mind. Uh, what? No. All right, I think that's the last game I'll get in my uh, hunts for Battle Network games. And uh, it, it, you should probably get Red Sun because if if you don't have like the original Game Boy Advance, Blue Moon has like a game-breaking glitch in the Woodman scenario. Oh no! Like a glitch uh, that's so bad get... you 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 the, the game literally just like dies. All right, um, I'll I'll get Red Sun then. Yeah. Well, okay. See, with Virtual Console, yeah, we're just gonna like a small little tangent before we end this part off. GBA in general for Virtual Console, they uh like. I mean, I know they for Virtual Console, I know they can like. Uh, edit the game because that's what they did for Pokemon Snap on Wii. You can like save the pictures to like your message board or whatever. So I don't understand why they would put some of these Game Boy games on Virtual Console. Like, that, like some of them were made specifically for multiplayer, but they put it on anyways. Kirby Amazing Man. <laughs> By the way, the part's over. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Bye! Later.